Hi, I'm Kyle from Nestera, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi camera and pair it with your smartphone or tablet before you install it in the bird box. Right, so first what we need to do is download the free app on your smartphone or tablet by searching for the Nestera Bird Cam app on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on whether you're using an iOS or an Android device. Alternatively, you can find the app by simply scanning the relevant QR code in the instruction manual. But once you've downloaded the app, simply register an account and tap the Add Device on the home screen. You only need your email address to be able to register an account. It is free. Don't worry. Super easy to do. Just follow the steps. You'll be absolutely fine. Once you're at this point here, you've got a big green button in the middle of your page that says Add Device. Just give that a tap there and it will display the list of options that we have available on our app. On this occasion, we have the Wi-Fi IP camera model. So we're going to be going through the setup for that one on here. Um, it's very, very simple. All we need to do is select that on our screen just here, and that will come up with a list of instructions for you to follow. The first one on there is to attach the aerial to the back of the Wi-Fi camera and then remove the protective lens cap. Now, I have already got the aerial on the back here from the previous video. It's just a case of just making sure that's on there nice and tight, and then you can fold that in whichever position is, is best for you. And then, obviously, just pull the lens cap off of the front of the camera here just to make sure that lens is, is nice, clean and clear, because we're going to need that in the next step to be able to scan a QR code that our phone will display for us in just a moment. Once we're happy with that, it's then a case of plugging in your power supply. Now, it's quite important that we don't turn this power on just yet. We do want to wait a moment, because as soon as we power that camera on for the first time, it will enter what's called sync mode, where it starts to search for a device to connect to. So. If you don't have a switch to turn the power on and off, I recommend just leaving this unplugged for the moment. Um, I do have one, so I'm just going to plug it in. And then our 10 meter power cable that we have on here. Now one end has a male connection, one end has a female. Obviously it can only go one way, so the female end will go to the power supply we've just connected, and then the male end will go into one of the three ports on the camera. So just pop that in there. When we're happy that all three parts are connected nice and securely, we can then go to our bird box and pull the drawer out of the front of the box. And the camera has a nice little bracket on it here, which we just slip over that little uh, clip on the bird box, which is pre-installed for you. Now, it is worth noting as well that this camera does come with an SD card slot. Um, if you are going to put one of those in there, now would be the perfect time to include it. Um, it just saves you having to go back to the Nest Box in a future time and put it in there. But once the SD card is in there, you can access all of the files remotely from the app once the connection is established. Um, the maximum capacity you can have in there is 128 gigabytes, but that's more than enough space for what we have. The camera records in a nice compressed format. Um, so again, once the camera is in and installed, there's no need to go back to it. So now if you have it, it's the perfect time. So I'm just gonna clip that over to the bracket, over, over the bracket and pop that on. Notice I've got the aerial facing in towards where the bird box would be and the lens is point, pointing straight down through the hole that is on the bottom of the tray. I'm just going to give those a little bit of a, a, a thing and tuck those in there. Now it's important that we don't push this cable tray all the way in just yet. We want to leave the camera so it's looking down the front of the bird box. The reason for this is because we're going to go back to the phone just now and move on to the next step where we, so we're going to click continue and touch next and it's now going to ask for our Wi-Fi information that we have. Now this is different for everybody, mine's pre-filled because I've already got it on my phone, um, but you'll need to add your Wi-Fi details into this point here, so feel free to pause the video before I move on to the next step so that you can enter your credentials uh, and then we can move on together. So I'm going to hit next because mine is pre-filled and what that's done there is it's presented a QR code on the top of my phone screen. What I need to do is now scan that QR code with my phone, uh, with the camera rather. So I'm going to lay my phone flat underneath the camera and then I'm going to power on the camera at the mains. So I'm just going to flip the switch and turn that on. And then after a short period of time, that camera is going to make an audible noise to tell me that it's got some sort of connection. Once I hear that, I'm going to touch the button on my phone to say I heard a prompt. Oh, there we go, that's just clicked. So I'm going to touch I heard a prompt it will say it's searching for up to two minutes. It can take up to two minutes sometimes, but as you can see there, that's just happened within the first 10 seconds. Now that's done, I'm going to click done, and that then takes me straight to a live view of my camera.
Okay, so if the Wi-Fi camera doesn't connect to the app for any reason, um, what we can do is hold down the reset button on the camera's cable, which we'll have just in this little section here. We've got the power cable on one section, a data cable on another. The third cable is just a reset button. So if for any reason that camera is not working on the first attempt, don't panic. Hold the reset button down inside here for six long seconds. That will then tell the camera to restart the process all over the beginning, and then you can just follow the instructions on the app again. Alternatively, just go back to the start of the video and start it again. That will allow you to do that. Not a problem. But now that's done, we can move on to the next stage, which includes installing the Wi-Fi camera in the bird box properly, and then hanging the bird box. For instructions on how to do this, you can click the link to our next instruction video just here. And if you need any further information, you can visit our website, or you can email or call our friendly customer support team. We're more than happy to help. As always, guys, thanks for watching.